All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel, man. Today we're talking about the Kansas City Chiefs. This team, relax, relax, relax. They are still very... <laughs> I don't know what that was. They're still very good, man. And before I get into today's video, I just want to say I've never ever in my whole life made a Kansas City Chiefs video. So if you're a Chiefs fan watching this, hit the like button, hit that subscribe button for daily NFL content if you want more Chiefs videos. Let me know down below, but you know, just be a little easy on me if possible. So, a lot of the criticism facing the Kansas City Chiefs is they lost a lot of pieces. And when you look at the list here, this was a 12 and 5 team. They were, I mean, dude, they had like what was it, 21 and 10 lead. They ran a play, Tyreek Hill, in the Conference Championship at halftime, like seven seconds left. They're up 21 10. Goes down, time runs out. Bengals kind of use that momentum and. You know, just long story short, the Chiefs' defense wasn't that great last year. They were very inconsistent. They were bottom tier ranked in almost every single category. And when, you know, we're talking about criticism to the Kansas City Chiefs, a lot of people like to use their losses against them. And it's a long list, man. Anthony Hitchens, Alex Okafor, Chavarius Chav Chav Ward, Byron Pringle, Daryl War Dara Williams, Ben Neiman, Tyreek Hill, Melvin Ingram, Mike Hughes, Jaron Green, Jared Reed, dude, I'm botching all these names. It's simple reading. Demarcus Robinson, Tyran Matthew, Daniel Sorensen. So whenever you're talking about who you lost, what do you follow it up with? Who did we gain? All right. Carlos Dunlap, about a month ago. That is a big time move. He's coming off a season with eight and a half sacks. He fits into the Chiefs system perfectly. Just kind of collapse that pocket get in there, rush the quarterback. Carlos Dunlap, you know, 33 years old. He's not, you know, the crazy Pro Bowl stud that he used to be you know, around 27, 28 with the Cincinnati Bengals. But that was a huge, huge underrated move. That was the most recent one. Ronald Jones II, I don't actually know if he is going to make the final roster. Jarek McKinnon and CEH, very talented players. And uh, I actually don't know if Ronald Jones, again, if any Chiefs fan could help clear that up. But the big loss was Tyreek Hill, right? You lost Tyreek Hill. Well, here's the thing, man. Tyreek Hill is making a ton of money. You know who else is making a ton of money? Patrick Mahomes. And so the Chiefs decided to not pay Tyreek Hill and fill in basically with Marcavius Valka, Sikantlin. As a Packers fan, I'm very big on MVS. I think he's very talented. Juju. Juju gets a lot of hate. He gets a lot of hate. I think he's definitely a well-rounded wide receiver. So you lost Tyreek Hill, but you also, and we'll talk about the draft in just a second, you you acquired through the draft Sky Moore, you got MVS, and you got Juju. So you also have Tyreek, or you also have Ty, uh, Travis Kelsey, who's probably, I don't think it's close, the best tight end in the NFL. So there's a lot of pressure relieved with Patrick Mahomes and Travis Kelsey. I think that MVS, Juju, I think that they're going to, and Sky Moore, I think they're perfectly going to make up for the Tyree Kill loss. I don't think that they would have as, they would have almost no flex, flex, bro. They would have almost no cap space flexibility had they actually paid Tyreek Hill. So I think that was a great move, and I think those are two underrated wide receivers in the league. So the Tyreek Hill loss, it actually does almost nothing for me. It does almost nothing for me. This is still a very talented team. And like I said, had just a possession or two gone differently, had they gotten an extra stop in that Bengals game, the Chiefs dynasty is still very much alive. They would have made another Super Bowl they might have even won that Super Bowl against the Los Angeles Rams, and we'd probably be having a completely different conversation right now if that had gone down. You also got two studs from the Houston Texans, Justin Reed. Justin Reed is a young buck who is cementing himself as a young star in the NFL. You lost Tyron Matthew, right? The biggest thing is, you know, he's really good. He's getting up there in age, but he's a huge leader. He's a huge vocal leader. He leads by example. He does everything you want from a leader. The thing is, so does Justin Reed. You know, Justin Reed, as far as a replacement with Tyran Matthew, it's right there, man. Justin Reed, long term, is going to work out really well for the Kansas City Chiefs, in my opinion. And then you also saw Lonnie Johnson Jr. in a trade be acquired by the Kansas City Chiefs. And this one was really interesting because Houston did not utilize this cat. He's still on his rookie contract. He's only getting paid one point. 
three million dollars this upcoming season. Like I said, still on the rookie contract. This was a gem of a move, but it doesn't end there. In the draft, because like I said, the Kansas City Chiefs defense last year, guys, it was not great. It was not great. It was very inconsistent, and it just it did not get the job done. So what'd you do in the draft? I'll tell you what they did in the draft. With the trade from New England, with the pick from New England in the trade, you go and get cornerback, the best cornerback from Washington, in my opinion, Trent McDuffie. And what we saw in camp and preseason from Trent McDuffie is pick number 22nd in the first round. He is ready to go. Day one, he is ready to go. And what we saw most recently in the preseason game for the Kansas City Chiefs, we saw the other first round draft pick out of Purdue, the defensive end, George Karloftis. He made a lot of heads move in Chiefs camp and preseason. So you have two first-round picks who are immediately going to bolster your very, very young defense. They have a very young defense. It's trending in the right direction. I think they may have just needed a couple of new faces, a couple of more bodies onto that defense. So that was their first round. Second round, Sky Moore, he's been killing it. You see him all over. If you're paying attention to the NFL right now, in camp preseason, you're seeing Scott Moore, the wide receiver out of Western Michigan, second round pick, number 54 in the trade from New England. He's been turning heads as well. Well, second round wasn't done there. You also got Brian Cook, a safety out of Cincinnati, the playoff team, Cincinnati, that a lot of people forget about. A lot of people like to focus on the power fives and, you know, while Georgia, Alabama prospects definitely usually are at NFL ready. Brian Cook, another one of those players, add him to the other list of three who's impressing in preseason. He's impressing in camps. He's turning a lot of heads. It actually doesn't really end there, but you have Leo Chenel from Wisconsin, good linebacker. You also have Joshua Williams, cornerback from Fayetteville State. So this is a team that lost a bunch of pieces. But in my opinion, if you want to stay financially flexible, like the Raiders just did, they signed Chandler Jones. You want to make a big time move like that? I think not signing, not paying Tyreek Hill was in their best interest. And I think the Kansas City Chiefs this upcoming season, it's not like they're an underdog. You're in the AFC West. It's a complete arms race. You have a lot of talented teams. I'm not afraid of Russell Wilson in general, so I'm definitely not afraid of the Denver Broncos. The Las Vegas Raiders and the Chargers, those are two really talented teams, but I don't know if they're quite there yet. So I have the Kansas City Chiefs. Whether or not you win the AFC West, man, they're going to make the playoffs. And in my opinion, they're going to get this dynasty back on track. I don't think the dynasty was ever off of track, but that's what the naysayers were saying this offseason. So that's it for today, man. If you enjoyed, hit the like button, hit that sub button. If you want more Chiefs videos, go ahead, drop a comment down below. That is it. Peace.